All right, we're talking about how we're gonna uh, mount, at least the components for mounting, uh, the Optech Gemini Rotating Focuser to a telescope. Uh, the telescope that I'm gonna be mounting this to is a plane wave CDK20. So there's some parts that are more specific to the CDK20 uh, setup. Uh, your mounting might be a little bit different, but at least you'll get the general gist of uh, how things attach. Uh, this is the uh, ring uh, or part number from uh, Optech that mounts to the CDK20. Essentially, there is uh, a place on the CDK20 that this will sit inside, and then there is a retaining ring that goes around this that bolts uh, this plate uh, to the back plate of the CDK20. You will need to do some machining to plain wave parts. In other words, the retaining ring, and I don't have one, so we're going to simulate what we're talking about. The retaining ring will have holes around the side for uh, holding it down with these types of bolts. They're basically socket head, I think they're 5 16 and they will go around there. The problem will be that when I mount this to the back of this, the height of this bolt right there um, will prevent this from seating correctly. So you're gonna have to do two things. Um, and this part's sort of handy because it's already been done. The You're gonna have to machine uh, countersunk holes into the routine, into the ring and then instead of the bolts that uh, you've been or plain way provides for the retaining ring you're going to have to get yourself some stainless seal countersunk so that way when it sits down in as you can see right there it's sitting flush uh, and so this will mount nicely Okay, the first step in this, I've got the part numbers here again. So there's the one ring. This is the second ring. It's going to flip over and just mount like that. So again, that's making the transition so that this will fit inside this wider opening. Uh, Optech provides one of these handy dandy uh, long Allen wrenches. Uh, don't need it for this one. You'll need it here in a second. But essentially, we're just going to go through and tighten the three sort of see it right there, it's set down in a little bit, but there's three uh, set screws. Go like that, get them nice and tight. And so we're all together there. And then on the back side of the Gemini Focuser, this will just fit in. So it's sitting nice and tight. So how do we lock that into place? Well, you can see around in here, uh, I've got little holes. And that's where this thing comes in handy because this is really deep. You get in there, we'll find the set screw. There we go, got it. And then I'll find one right about here. There's going to be three again. So you see the holes in the side. And then the third one over here. Uh, we'll make them nice and tight uh, when we actually do the installation. Uh, just snug them all down and maybe give them a little snug after you've got them into place. But now this is uh, on the Gemini. Uh, just a note here, if you're doing the plane wave, of course, you're going to have to mount this first. So this and the other ring would have already been on the back of the plane wave telescope before uh, mounting the rotating focuser. On the front side is where we're going to start to attach uh, the components necessary to mount uh, a camera or whatever accessories. Uh, later on, we'll be doing a SBIG camera with uh, AOX, filter wheel, uh, and some other stuff in the image train. So here's the optic part number. This is gonna fit on the front. And so just like before, I will find the little holes, which in this case are right here. And we'll give it a little snug with the set screws. And we're all locked into place. And then from Optech, you're gonna have a bunch of, or a number of, Extension tube sets. This is the 19889 extension tube set. 
essentially this will screw in. And the box in here contains a number of different adapters. Essentially what you're doing is making sure you've got the proper back focus. So all these have a different uh, width. Install you know, the number that you need uh, for your proper back focus. Once you've got that, the last thing in the image train, uh, since, and this is specific again to the camera, since we're going to an SBEG, I've got the part number 19915. This is going to mount to, uh, this side is going to mount to my SBEG camera, or, you know, the parts in the image train uh, that we're attaching to. In this case, it'll probably be the AOX. But that'll screw into there. And I won't screw it all the way down now. But we'll screw it into there, and then our camera and everything else is mounting out into here. And that is essentially it.